One of the things we do in cryptography is compute exponents. Um, we, we take the power of a large number to a large number, mod another large number. In this case, uh, those, those are just small numbers compared to the actual uh, practice. In practice, we would be taking mod a huge, huge number. I'm talking about 200 digits or a product of two numbers like that, 100 digits and 200 digits, and the exponents would be also very large. So um, this is more like a baby example of that kind. Uh, we use this in, uh, in, in, in encryption and decryption. RSA is one of the examples, uh, one of the methods that, that's, uh, that's used to calculate those numbers, uh, or I mean, that this method is used for. One of the, so uh, here's a simple mathematics that I would like to show you before I do the example. Uh, the number 473 is the largest power of 2 uh, under 473 is 256. So if you subtract out 256, what you're going to get is something like 217. And so the next largest power of 2 is 128, next one is 64, and then 16, then 8, and 1. These are all powers of 2, so I wrote, broke down 473 um, to powers of 2. So here's the simple math that you learned in your algebra class. So if you take 561 to the power of 561 to the power of 473 it's the same thing as calculating 561 to the power of 256 plus 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 1 which really is the same thing as 561 to the power of 256 times 561 to the power of 128 times 561 to the power of 64, 16, to the 8, and 561 to the power of 1. So if we, if we can calculate each one of these and then multiply them out, that should give us this number. And the technique is more like that. But when, when we do mod 703, we mod out the numbers. So that's basically what we'll be doing. So I'm going to erase these. I'm going to save that one, all right, and go ahead and do the square and multi multiply method. So first is 561 to the power of 1. That is just a dummy. That's 561. I'm going to save that. Now 561 squared is, um, I calculated this earlier, 314721. So if you mod out 703 from this number, you get 400 and 480. So I'm, I'm going to be working mod 703, okay? So mod 703, the number is 408. Now let's square 561 squared, which is really 561 to the power of 4. And this guy is 480 squared which is um, 230400. When you mod it out, you get 519. And now 561 to the power of 8 is uh, 519 squared, which is equal to 269361. This squaring is a pretty easy job. Any computer or calculator can do the squaring, no matter how large the numbers are. Um, so that's that's a, that's a doable process. And now you can mod out seven or three from this, and that will give you one hundred and twelve. And now five sixty one to the power of sixteen is the same thing as one hundred and twelve squared which comes out to be 12544 or 
593 mod 703 and now 561 to the power of 32 let me make this clear the power of 32 is the same thing as 593 squared and this number is 351649 mod 703 is 149 561 to the power of 64 is the same thing as 149 squared as a row square it is 2 2 2 0 1 but when you mod out 703 you get 408 561 to the power of 128 is 408 squared which is 166964 that's 556 561 to the power of 256 is 566 no 556 squared that is 309 136 when you mod it out you get 519 I think I'm gonna stop here because that's what I'm gonna do this is just what I need I don't need any more and now um, I'm going to pause here and give an assignment to my students here. Uh, what I want you to do to uh, in, at the end of the video is calculate, um, this is your assignment, uh, compute 127 to the power of 143 mod. Three, two, three. That's what I want you to do at the end of the video, and then you hand it in in class. Okay. Um, this number three twenty three is a product of two primes, seventeen and nineteen. Seven oh three is also a product of two primes. Okay. We'll talk about that when we discuss the RSA. All right. Now back to my um, calculation. So what I want is 561 to the power of 473. And the numbers that I need at this point are the power of 1, the power of 8, the power of 16. I'm looking at this, looking at this uh, figure here, these figures. Power of 64, 128 and 256 so 561 to the power of 7 473 is uh, 561 times 112 times 593 times 408 times 556 times 519 mod 703 and these numbers are also large numbers well in this example we may be able to calculate all of this at once but in practice what is done is you calculate two of those mod out and then calculate the next one mod out calculate the next one mod out I'm gonna try to do the, the same okay so let's see if I can calculate uh, 561 times 112 and mod out mod 703 that gives me 256 and now times 593 times 408 times 556 times 519 
multiply that by 593 and then mod out that would give me 376 and multiply that by 408 and mod that will give me 154 multiply that by 556 and mod that that gives you 561 times 519 and mod out the total number gives you 117 mod 703 so 561 to the power of 473 is 117 mod 703 all right that's uh, it and this is a description of square and multiply method to compute modular exponentiation okay all right have a nice day and goodbye